Hey guys, Zach Crawford from psychologicallyunemployable.net. Um, I'm here in Manila, Philippines, uh, Makati to be exact, on the 22nd floor of my condo. Uh, I just want to show you my view of my condo. It's beautiful up here. It's kind of like uh, the New York City skyline view. I usually like to come out here when I, when I want to think. I'm stressed out about business. And it's a beautiful view. As you can see, traffic is uh, very busy in Manila, Philippines. It's always going. It's noisy. Uh, I love it. Most people complain that there's always mopeds going and loud noises, but to me, it's wonderful. So basically, I want to talk to you about expectations and accepting mediocrity. Nice. So most people accept um, what their situation is currently. They think that they they have to stay in a job they don't like. They think that you know because they're in a relationship that they're not happy with that this this is as good as life gets and they just accept that you know this is it well if I would have took that attitude I never would have got to the point I am now and I've set a goal for myself that by age 30 I'll be a cash millionaire and like right now uh, I I'm only 26 26 just on July 9th to be exact so I got four years to go so I, I'm definitely gonna be able to achieve that goal but if I would have took that that uh, that approach of being realistic as most people like to use um, I would still be in my day job that I hated and <laughs> I was miserable I would still be cussing every day I'd still be upset and, and hating life and I'm glad that I didn't take that attitude because being realistic is, is, is uh, the road to mediocrity and to me I want to be great which for for you as well you should you should set the bar higher um, you always should have higher expectations for yourself, but at the same time, when you're working towards your goal, you're working towards your dream life that you want. You 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 can't get down on yourself when you don't you don't hit that mark that you've set. For instance, if you set that you know that first year you want to do fifty thousand dollars on your own, or you want to get in better shape and, and get a better body, just because you don't hit that exact goal that you want doesn't mean that you failed. It just means that. You know, you, you learn from your mistakes, you, you, you pat yourself on the back for the job that you did, and you keep pushing along. I remember when I first started down this journey of entrepreneurship, and that's, that's, that's the word I would use for it. I would call it a journey, because you're going to have obstacles, you're going to have times that are great. It's, it's a, it can be an up and down roller coaster. And the thing is, is on the way up, you're going you're gonna to hit obstacles that you have to learn to overcome. And I remember when I first started down this journey that people, people thought I was crazy great background so people thought I was nuts they they thought I remember when I was sitting in my job and I would joke around with my employees and be like hey you, you better uh, you better get ready next year because you're gonna be the new boss I was a supervisor at the post office and all my employees just thought I was nuts I'd tell them how I was gonna make more money I made sixty thousand dollars in my day job I tell them how you know I'm gonna make way more than this by next year and I'm gonna do it on my own terms I'm not gonna have a boss I'm not gonna have them tell me when I can take vacation when I have to work I mean I'd be sitting at home on a Sunday, it was supposed to be my day off, and I was still working on the phone, coordinating with work. The perks of the post office. <laughs> so anyways, I remember when I would tell them about how I was going to live my dream life. I was going to move to the Philippines, I was going to travel Asia, I was going to do things that most people dreamed about, and they thought I was nuts. And the funny thing is, is look at me now, you know. Now I'm in Manila, Philippines, I'm living my life that, that I set for myself a year ago. So anyways, I, I, I set this goal a year ago that I would be in the Philippines within a year. And it's funny because when you set your mind on something and you, you focus on one thing, it's a result of what you think about. So regardless if you're thinking positive or you're thinking negative, you're drawing that to you. I don't want to get all the secret on you and positive thinking, but this stuff is true. If you go around thinking that you can't make more than $50,000 or you can't do what that other guy does and you can't be successful, well, guess what? That's what you just, you just got for yourself. You, you are going to be stuck in that position for the rest of your life or until you start to learn to be successful and think positive and think in a direction that's going to get you to where you want to be. I never would have gotten good shape. I never would have been able to build this business. When I even first got to the Philippines, I mean, it was a challenge. I, I, I was pushing my team to, to work harder but the problem was is it was me. I didn't believe in what I was doing. I didn't believe that things were going to work out. I, I just I didn't have the right mindset. But you have to believe in yourself. Once I started believing in myself, everything changed. From then on, 
once I believed in myself, I was unstoppable. Now it's like we get clients every week. I don't even advertise half the time and I got people coming to me. And with the internet business, things are starting to pick up. It's once you believe in yourself, you are unstoppable. You can do anything. If you want to lose weight, you want to, you want to get a better job, you want to create your own business. You, you, you have to believe in yourself first because nobody else is gonna, gonna, gonna do that for you. And you need to set higher expectations for yourself. Hopefully I don't get hit by lightning in this video. So the thing is, is you have to set higher expectations for yourself and raise the bar because if you don't, you're gonna be in one spot all the time. For instance, I, I, I always said that I would not do these YouTube videos, I would not put myself out there and here I am now, and the thing is, is I'm comfortable with it. It doesn't, I'm not shy. Uh, when I do the videos, a lot of times people look at me like I'm crazy. It doesn't matter. I think it's funny. And you just got to get out there and push yourself harder than you ever have before. You have to set the bar higher. You're going to have to invest in yourself, whether that be with educational materials. That means taking the time to study. That means putting more time in, in the gym so you can get that better body. Or whatever it may be, you're going to have to invest into yourself. And part of the reason why I come to the Philippines is I knew that if I wanted to get to the limit I wanted to be, I had to push myself harder than I ever had before. I knew by investing in that $1,200 plane ticket, I knew by putting myself in an atmosphere where there's tons of entrepreneurs traveling around, and it was going to push me so much farther. The funny thing is, though, is when I got here, there, there's entrepreneurs everywhere in Southeast Asia, but it's... It, I feel like I'm kind of alone because you know when you travel around you'll see most of the expats that's a American or a foreigner in a foreign country that's not theirs you'll you'll see that the expats are are older these are guys that just like they're working here they they retired here there's very few people that demand more of themselves it's like when I walk around if I see you know one guy that's my age I'm like oh I get all excited and I'm, I'm super I'm super pumped because it's like it's like a secret club, you know? I, I see another person that's got the same drive and same passion as I do, and they demanded more for themselves. If I would have let all my friends, you know, and laugh at me when they did, and, and, and I accepted their fate that they had for me, they, they thought I couldn't do this. They thought I was nuts. And then the day that I put in my two weeks notice, everybody's just like, wow, he, he really made it work. And, and it's funny because some of those people even that didn't believe in me at that time, they thought I was nuts. They were, they were messaging me, talking about how, you know, I always knew you were going to do it. And it's, it's funny because if you want to get uh, to a higher level of success, you're going to see that you have to separate yourself from that crowd. You have to, sometimes it hurts, you know. When I, when I was at home, I had to, to, to separate myself from a best friend I've had for well over 10 years. But the thing is, is he left me hanging many a time, some of the worst times of my life. Even when I had a drunk driver hit me, you know, he wasn't there for me when I needed him. And that was when I had to go through physical therapy, and it was horrible. But I kept giving this guy a chance over and over because I considered him like a brother. But it's like even when I would tell him about how, you know, I was going to be here in a year, you could just see he looked at me and thought I was nuts. And then I realized that day when I put my two weeks notice in that from there on out, if I wanted to reach a level of success, I had to set the bar higher. I had to set myself above standards of what other people have. And I had to surround myself with successful people and people that have the right mindset. That's the most important thing of getting to your dreams and meeting expectations and goals you have for yourself. But the one thing I would like to stress on you is as you climb this ladder and you build your business and you start demanding better for yourself, don't beat yourself up when things don't work out your way. If you're, if you're starting just to get a little bit of success, celebrate that. You know, even to this day, I'll, I'll hit you know, $2,000 for a client and I don't even give myself a pat on the back sometimes because I, I expect so much more. But the thing is, is you have to you have to realize that you're you're in the one percent of people, the one percent, the people that that demand better for themselves, the people that actually push the bar higher, and they don't just accept what realistic is. So when you hit those milestones, even if they're small, you should celebrate them. Whether that means going out and getting a drink, whether that means going and buying yourself an iPod or something to reward yourself, you need you need to pat yourself on the back because this this is an absolute journey that you're going to be on. And I can tell you right now, it, it's, it's the best journey I've ever taken in my life. Every day now, I wake up with passion, I go, I go to bed happy, and I always have a purpose now. Before, I was just walking around like I was dead. I had nothing to me, and I just I was miserable. But now, you know, how, how can you be upset when you come out on your condo and you look at this view, and you realize just a year ago, 
this was what you wanted. And you know, sometimes now I like to think back and when I look around and I see, see this beautiful view, I'm thinking, you know, this, this, is, this is what I wanted a year ago and it was, I'm here now because I was setting my mind and I was thinking positive and pushing through all the adversity to get here. So the one thing you're going to need to do from here on out as you start learning all this stuff and everything is just believing in yourself. Because until you believe in yourself, you will not reach that level of success. Because no matter if it's small or it's huge, you have to believe in yourself first before anyone else is going to see it. So focus your mind on that goal and just keep pushing along until you get there. Because eventually you're going to look back and think, man, I don't even know how I achieved all this. It's like every, every couple months I, I sit back and analyze my life and I realize, you know, like right now my, my parents tell me about how, how hot it is in the U.S. And, you know, there's a drought and... I mean, this tropical weather, you know, it's beautiful here. I love it. And I could not imagine having to go back to that life. But if I would have thought like most people told me to do and be realistic, I would still be stuck in that job and, and miserable. So the thing is, is, you know, start learning now that your mindset is the most important asset that you have. And if you don't start thinking positive and setting yourself outside of what everybody else thinks, it's not going to happen. So... You know, whether it be reading positive books, um, you know, watching YouTube videos, or just, you know, following people that you, you admire and you, you can relate to, you need to get that positive mindset and that entrepreneur mindset because entrepreneurs don't look at, at, a, at a problem. They look at the solution. So if you come up and, you know, you have to make $5,000 in a month, you know, the average person is going to think, oh, God, how do I do that? But the entrepreneur is going to go, okay, I can do step A, I can do step B, and step C, and that's going to get me to 5,000. You, you, can't, you can't look at the problems. You just look for the solutions. And you have, to, you have to get comfortable with the uncertainty. Because being an entrepreneur, there's no, there's no uh, cush job. There's no certain paycheck. And, and there's nothing that's just a given. You have to work for it. And I think that's the number one reason that most people fail in this business is because they just want people to, to hand them money, and it doesn't work that way. You have to put time, you have to put effort, and you have to be passionate about what you're doing, and you have to believe, which is the most important part, you have to believe that you can achieve this. So start working on your mindset right now, and then you are going to see that you know, a year from now, you, you're, in, you're in that slot, in that, that, that mindset, and you are in the place that you dreamed about a year ago. This, this right here... This view was a part of what I was thinking of a year ago about how I wanted to be in the Philippines. All my friends now that, that are going to see this are going to realize, hey, he said it a year ago that he was going to be in the Philippines, and what do you know, now I'm here. So start working on that mindset, whether it be you know, weight loss, it's you, know, you want to fix a relationship, or you're building your business. Until you believe it, it won't happen. All right, that's it. Take it easy, guys.